seven o'clock on Tuesday, May 11th. And some of us are at Lee Midland High School in room A119. And some of us are still coming to, uh, coming to you live via Zoom. Uh, we are, uh, so, so those of you that are uh, coming to us virtually, we are in a virtual meeting room per Governor Baker's order, suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, GLC 30A section 20. This meeting will take place virtually via Zoom. Uh, pursuant to MGL, uh, C30A section 20. I'm hereby informing all attendees that a video and audio recording is being made of the meeting. And for those of you that would like to, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, One nation under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice, and justice for all. Oops. Thank you. The mission statement of Lee Public Schools is to ensure students have the opportunities to develop the social, civil, and critical thinking skills to thrive in an ever-changing world. And Brenda, would you mind doing a roll call for us, please? Mr. Robin? Here. Mr. Daly? Here. Mr. Kinnis? Here. Mrs. Lucy? Here. Mrs. Wadsworth? Oh. Here. Sorry. And um, Ms. Larman? Here. <laughs> okay, first thing on our agenda is our approval of the April 13th, 2021 Lee School Committee meeting minutes. I make a motion we accept the April 13th. School committee meeting. Second. Any discussion? Brenda, can we have a roll call, please? Mr. Robin? Yes. Mr. Daly? Yes. Mr. Kinnis? Yes. Mrs. Lucy? Yes. Mrs. Wadsworth? I'm going to abstain. I was not there. And Ms. Larman. Yes. All right. And next up we have Mr. Kinnis. All right. So um, we're going to do the public inputs uh, part of the meeting. So members of the public are invited to address the committee at this time. Issues raised will normally be referred to the administration or a subcommittee of the school committee. So with that said, do we have anyone who wants to? Oh, oh wait, I think I see Kathy Hall. I am shocked. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> just three things. Um, just FYI, town elections are this Monday, May 17th from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. at Crossway Gym. And the town meeting is June 24th. The second little tidbit, the Lee Library, if you'd like to, to, to dis, subscribe to the free Woebrary newsletter and get an email featuring all their new items every second Wednesday, go to wobrary.org and use the Lee zip code 01238 to sign up. Also, the 2021 summer reading program, Tales for Tales, will run from June 29th to August 7th. And my last tidbit, the Lee Youth Commission is moving forward with playground equipment and the Potential Community Center. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mrs. Hall. Anybody else out there? Randy? I see I see Ginger raising her hand. Yes, please. Okay, Ginger. I would just like to um, thank Asa Stone. She is our senior leaving um, her final report tonight as our student rep. And I have to tell you guys, without her and Emma, creating student government would not have been possible. They really did an excellent job with this building student government and setting a great example to follow. So thank you, Asa. 
Thank you, Ms. Armstrong. All right. Oh, Kathy has more. I'm sorry. I just remembered. I wanted to congratulate the seniors who did their little drama presentation on um, this past weekend. It was quite comical. So congratulations to them for a wonderful performance their senior year. Thank you. I'm done now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? All right. Back to you, Andrea. All right. Thank you. All right, Asa, well, uh, you're up next <laughs> as our student representative. Uh, and uh, Ginger took the wind out of my sails because I was also going to make a big deal. And thank you for uh, all of your uh, student government reports. They have been fact filled. You have uh, provided the uh, school committee with a plethora of information over the last year and a half. And I, I personally really appreciate all the information that you have brought to us, especially during a really difficult time for the students. Um, I think you have brought uh, just a, a wealth of information with regards to student learning during a really difficult pandemic learning time. And I think you've really helped to inform the public. So I really wanna thank you uh, personally and on behalf of the committee for all the work that you have done. So, um, and, and to wish you the very best as you leave our hallowed halls and move on to into that big, great big world of college education, because I, I think that's where you're headed. Thank you so much. Um, so like last meeting, I'm going to, and for those of you have, who haven't figured it out yet, I'm Asa Stone and I'm the stupid student representative um, of the Lee Student Government. So, um, it's going to be a really quick report and I just want to say that I am really grateful that I got this opportunity. I think that, um, like everyone said, I, I brought a new voice to the students in the um, school committee and I'm really grateful that, that was, I was able to do that and um, I've had a great time learning from this um, experience. So we, the student government performed a survey of the teachers. And we have a lot of information about potential interests in, in teaching new classes and stuff like that. But um, we're reporting that to Mr. Briganti in the future. Um, we had two student government representatives at the last strategic planning meeting with Mr. Richard and a bunch of other people. Um, and we're happy that with um, four LSG members on the team, it's going to be pretty nice to um, see that happening in our school, seeing everyone's voice brought to the table. Um, the Gender Sexuality Alliance, which I am a part of, did an outreach to the middle schoolers last week, and it went really well. And um, basically, we are allies and members of the LGBTQ plus community, and we're looking to educate our school and to bring awareness to um, stuff like that. And so Ally Week, we're planning Ally Week for, I'm pretty sure it's next week. And that's also just going to be outreach and um, forming more alliances within the school. Um, progress reports are coming out this Friday and AP testing has begun at the high school um, last, I'm not sure if it was last Monday, um, the first test happened, but it's definitely been a rough week and a half and it'll continue to be a rough month for um, a lot of people as AP testing happen, happens and then finals are taken um, in June, which is a little different this year, but um, definitely will still be a difficult but fun part of the year. Um, MCAS is on the horizon, which obviously I'm done with MCAS, but a lot of um, kids who have been rescheduled from years past due to COVID will be taking MCAS in the next few weeks. Um, the Lee Student Government is participating in a community service project this weekend, and it's um, a cleanup of the courtyard near the Z and the school. And Mr. Trapka and Ms. Armstrong have um, spearheaded this, and we're really happy that it's going to pull together. So this Saturday at noon, if you are interested, please come help out and um, help us clean up the courtyard. So spring sports have also just started and we wrapped up our fall two season with a bang and um, spring sports 
are going underway. I think that it's going to be a pretty short season, but a pretty exciting season that we're getting all of our sports seasons this year, which is really great. And um, congratulations to the drama department for um, their event, their streamed event. So I think that is it. I don't think I'm forgetting anything, um, but I just wanted to say thank you guys again. And it has been a great year. So, and also if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Thank you so much, Asa. Does anybody have any questions for Asa on our committee? All right, well, thank you so much, Asa. And we wish you the very best um, in your postgraduate future. Okay, so next thing on our agenda is our chair report. And our first thing on the agenda is uh, another member recognition. Tonight is Nelson Daly's final meeting. Uh, look at that smile on his face. <laughs> um, I would like to thank Nelson for his years of service on the school committee. Um, this is a, as uh, many of you may, may, may or may not know, is a volunteer, voluntary position. We don't get paid for this position. Um, in most of the years that we, uh, that the rest of you have been part of this, it's been a monthly, uh, a, a monthly uh, commitment that you have made. But for the last year and a half, it has been, you know, pretty much a, a week for the for a year. It was about a weekly commitment that we made, and then it became a biweekly commitment, and then it went back to being about a monthly commitment about six months ago. So. It takes up a lot of time. It's a, it's a big commitment. And I really, you know, appreciate Nelson, the time and the commitment that you've given to the school committee. But I also know that you have, you give a lot of time and commitment to just the Lee, the Lee community. And so I want to thank you for all of that uh, time and energy that you put into, to just the whole town of Lee. We're, we're very lucky to have you as a, as a member. So so thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy your retirement from the school committee. Um, Nelson uh, dropped off a, a, a dumpster in my driveway a couple weeks ago and we stood in the driveway chatting and I said to him, I thought you were retired. And I, I don't think Nelson knows how to retire. I don't think Nelson knows how to sit still. Am I correct, Nelson? That's correct. My wife said, <laughs> I will not retire because she can't put up with me. <laughs> well, that, I'll be 80. I'll be 80 in October. He'll be 80 in October, and I still don't think he's going to know how to sit still. So I don't think Nelson's ever going to truly retire. I think he's just going to slow down a little bit. So Nelson, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the time and the commitment that you've given to this committee, and we wish you the very best uh, in your future endeavors with whatever you decide to to take on. So thank kudos you. to you. Thank you. I want to thank Brenda for dropping all the information off at my house every month, not being involved in computers. I want to thank Brenda. She she really deserves a lot of credit for that. She is thank a bit you. of a rock star, isn't she, our Brenda? We are pretty lucky to have her. Yeah, she, she never complained. She never ran out of gas to get to my house. And, and <laughs> so, so she didn't mind. She said, I'll walk over if I run out of gas. I said, okay, I want to thank Brenda. And, and it, was, it was enjoyable. I'm getting too old to do this stuff. <laughs> thank you thank you uh and the only other thing i wanted to to mention is that i did email out uh, uh some smart goal dates i only heard back from about half of you for uh dates that would work for you for june so for those of you that i haven't heard from can you just fire me back an email of the dates that will work for you in june so we can get that set in stone uh, just a refresher, there were three dates were uh, the 12th of June, the 19th of June, and the 26th of June. So if you can just fire me an email, then we can get that set in stone. We can get those SMART goals done, and then we can bring them back to the committee for a full committee vote. Um, and that is all I have to share for my chair report for this month. Um, and so with that, I think we will move on to our next agenda item, which is the superintendent report. So Mr. Richard. All right. Thank you, uh, Ms. Larman. I appreciate that. I'm going to jump right into this and uh, share my screen so we can take a look at uh, what we've got and try to keep this um, efficient for everybody's time. So the superintendent report uh, for May 11th. 
Um, what do we have for you? Last week was Teacher Appreciation Week, and we've had an opportunity uh, tonight to thank a couple members of the, the Lee School Committee community uh, in terms of what Asa and Nelson have done for us. And if I could um, just quickly say thank you uh, to Asa uh, for her work, um, because uh, in my position, I've seen many, many different student representatives, uh, both here in, in Lee and, and in my previous experience. And uh, what I can tell you is you've uh, you brought to the table a very critical eye uh, and you were able to voice that in a constructive way uh, so that the uh, school committee and the school community uh, understood the student uh, perspective on what we were doing, why we were doing it, uh, and gave us feedback uh, so that we could always be engaged in this continuous cycle of improvement. So thank you, uh, Asa, for all of your work. And Nelson, thank you also uh, for um, for your constructive eye uh, in terms of what we do uh, on a daily basis and monthly basis here as a committee. So thank you both. Uh, but this is really a huge thank you for our educational staff uh, for what I've called here their super heroic efforts this year. It's been pretty uh, outstanding uh, to think about uh, everything that everyone has done. And there hasn't been um, a soul that hasn't been touched in some way by uh, by the work that our educational staff do. Uh, and so uh, I wanna make sure that, that we recognize our teachers, thank them for their work and thank our, our paraprofessional staff, our support staff, everybody who contributes on a daily basis to our school community. Quick enrollment update. Uh, we're up three students uh, from April 1st. Um, three students uh, moved in, one student has um, taking advantage of our, our ability to choice them in for the last uh, couple of months here in school as they've moved to Dalton. Uh, but we need to continue that uh, trend in the upward direction. Uh, as I, we see lots of communities struggling with enrollment, uh, we're hopeful that we will get a nice crop of school choice students um, enrolling in the lease schools uh, over the summer. A personnel update, uh, the biggest one uh, to date, uh, and that is we need to uh, find uh, a qualified replacement for uh, Principal Retzel. Uh, congratulations to, to Kate on uh, taking a new job uh, to further her professional um, career and uh, challenges. Uh, so we will, um, we posted the position um, two weeks ago. Uh, we have those volunteers. I apologize for seeking volunteers. We've got a full screening committee engaged. Uh, they will be meeting actually tomorrow night um, to review applicants uh, and then interviewing a first round of, of selected individuals next week um, over the course of uh, what looks like two nights. So uh, again, Kate, uh, thank you uh, for everything that you've done for me uh, in, in the last year plus that I've been in Lee and the work that you've been doing for the last dozen or so years uh, at Lee Elementary School for the students and the staff uh, and our community, uh, because you have truly touched uh, the community in many, many ways uh, over, those, uh, over those years. So thank you. Uh, the data dashboard, uh, Lee uh, had six cases in the last two weeks. Uh, vac vaccination rates are still excellent. Uh, we're hopeful. Uh, fingers crossed that uh, with this approval of 12 and up for vaccinations that perhaps by opening day uh, next year, we will have uh, maybe a fully vaccinated Lee Middle and High School uh, students and staff alike, we should be pretty close. Uh, and we will continue to push that um, anyone who is uh, uh, open to getting the vaccine, please, uh, please go and do that uh, to support to keep yourself safe and the people around you safe. Pooled testing, uh, I updated this slide from what I had shared with the committee because we learned today that all of our tests from yesterday uh, indeed came back negative. So that's great, it's the last two weeks. Actually, I guess we're now on three or maybe even four weeks in a row. Uh, we've had all negative tests, which means the people uh, in the Lee School com community are doing the right things. Uh, we're washing our hands, wearing our masks, watching our distance. Uh, and, and being taking pr protective measures to make sure that we keep ourselves um, and each other safe.
safe. So thank you, and thank you to County Ambulance for their uh, collaboration in collecting the samples weekly. Uh, strategic plan, uh, we continue to meet, and I appreciate the work. Uh, you know, Asa mentioned uh, the student presence on that committee, and, and it's really, really nice to hear uh, what students have to offer from their own experiences about how we can be better at what we do and implement that or build that into our district improvement plan as we look forward. So uh, we will need to conduct uh, some type of district-wide needs assessment. Um, the work in the subcommittees is, is ongoing and they've scheduled standing meeting dates uh, to keep the work going over the next few months. Uh, and their full committee will also be following the same standing meeting dates. So. Uh, you should expect more information from me on that uh, in the not too distant future. And that's what I brought for you tonight, Chair Larman. Thank you. Anybody have any questions for Mike? All right. Next thing on our agenda are our principals and directors reports. So can we hear first from Kate Russell from Lee Elementary School? Hi, everybody. Um, <clears throat> first, I just want to say um, thank you to Mike for kind words. Um, deciding to leave the district was hard. Um, it was a very hard decision. I do want to thank you all for your support over the years. Um, it's, re it's really a, a, a step, a different step for me in my career. And um, my time here is very special to me. Um, so we are able to do some of what you would consider normal calendar events, um, not quite in the most normal of ways, but um, we will have a kindergarten orientation. It's going to take a little bit different form. Um, each class will have a day that they can come, June 1st, June 2nd, or June 3rd. Um, they uh, will come and do a book walk in the halls of the school um, with a um, chance to stop by their classroom and peek in and meet the teacher. So um, they'll be able to come with family members um, and stay socially distanced from the next group. So we'll be doing like a staggered um, planning. So we have um, the screenings coming up next week. So once we have the um, screening results, then the teachers get together in a quick fashion and put together some tentative lists for kindergarten. And then uh, parents will be notified which day they can come and sign up for a time. Uh, we are um, happy to say that we're able to do a walk to school um, this year. Um, we weren't able to do any others. We did some virtual in last spring, but this will be our first um, walk to school and that's on June 2nd, working with Lee PD, um, Jen Carlino and Janet Warner, or Jan Julia Warner, sorry. Um, are setting up the details for that and they'll be sending that out to the kiddos to sign up um, soon. Uh, of course, a Asa mentioned MCAS are coming. Um, our start next week, um, both uh, students who are virtual and students in person will be all remote for us. We don't have any paper testing in our district or in our my school. Um, Greg may have some at his school. Uh, we are doing a socially distanced but in-person field day. Um, it'll look, look a little different. One of the um, traditions is to do, um, you know, big games together um, as a whole class, but they'll have to be rotating. Um, I know we have the PD involved and um, hopefully um, some tennis this year um, and kids will be rotating. So um, details will come about that, but the date is June 15th. We are having a sixth grade step up. Um, we have decided to do another drive-through option, um, but it'll be June 17th, it'll be in the morning and each family will be able to um, sign up for a time where they can do a drive-through. Uh, summer's being planned right now. Um, we are uh, going to have uh, 
a jumpstart program. And for anyone who doesn't know, the jumpstart to kindergarten is for our entering K kiddos. Um, typically after screening, we invite um, those students that we're aware that um, don't have um, preschool experience or have some skills that they could begin um, to work on earlier. Um, it's usually a two week program and it's really just um, a jump start to kindergarten, but we decided to expand it this year um, and do it um, all four weeks of the summer school. And then um, also for kindergarten, we're doing something a little bit different. There'll be two kindergarten classes for the entering grade one kids who just left kindergarten. Um, they'll be able to come from one to three um, and do enrichment. Um, just because we felt um, so many kids um, <clears throat> needed to have a good start. So we, we want to continue that. For entering grade two through entering grade seven, um, they'll have a 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. program. Some newer features this summer that we're able to do um, with extra funding and um, free things. We have uh, busing this year, which is a, a big change. Um, for us. Uh, breakfast and lunch will be free um, for those kiddos accessing the program, both the special needs and the gen ed program. And um, <clears throat> we will have an expressive arts special that will rotate through the classes. So um, for anyone who doesn't know about the expressive arts program, it's a, um, a almost therapeutic approach to um, kiddos, um, they do an art project today and the resulting um, themes of the classes are um, therapeutic in nature and kids have a chance to talk and, and hear um, teachers modeling um, while they're creating something that they have complete control over. So we're gonna rotate that through um, all of our programming this summer. Thanks, I think that's about, oh, I forgot the sixth grade hike. This is new. Um, the Lee PD has initiated um, wanting to take our kiddos on our sixth grade kids on a hike to um, Mount Greylock. Uh, so that's in the planning stages right now. Thank you. Thanks, Kate. Okay, next up we have Greg Braganti from Lee Middle and High School. Good evening, everyone. Um, it's certainly a busy time of the year. Uh, I think probably many people would say the busiest time of the year. But here are some highlights, some of which Asa already mentioned, um, as usual, in her excellent report. Um, I did want to start off, though, by, by mentioning um, that if you've driven by the school recently, you may have noticed that we were able to replace the trees in the front yard that had to be cut down last fall. Um, it was interesting. We, we heard a lot when those trees came down. Um, unfortunately, they had to come down because they were just aging and uh, creating some hazardous situations. But uh, we were able to get those replaced and we have um, some very nice new maple trees out there in the front lawn. LMHS began operating fully in person, as you know, when we returned from vacation on Monday, April 26th. It's going very well, though there were some adjustments had to be made in order to accommodate lunches in particular. Um, we're definitely happy to be ending the year in this model. It is, um, it, it is great to see the halls uh, once again. Well, not quite full because we're um, still staggering dismissal times, but you get the idea. It's great to see everybody back and see the classrooms um, much more fully, fully stocked than they were in the past part of this year. We do have about 40 students in grades seven through 12 that have opted to remain fully virtual for the rest of the year. Um, and, um, you know, so they're gonna finish out the year virtual and then we'll welcome them back as well in the fall. Annual access testing for our ELL students took place last week. Um, that went very well. And I would like to thank uh, Carrie Swift Heck, our ELL teacher for taking the lead on that and uh, working with those students to get that. Um, what is a very lengthy, um, very lengthy uh, test for our English language learners. Um, so excellent job there. As Asa mentioned, spring sports started on Monday, May 3rd. 
we are offering our usual complement of spring sports this season with the exception of boys lacrosse. There just weren't enough signups. There wasn't enough interest this year to be able to field a team. Our drama program presented The Actor's Nightmare last Friday evening. It was a fun short play that in particular gave our senior drama performers one last chance to shine on the stage in the Z. Um, it, was, it was a really entertaining um, short little play. We were able to uh, have family members of the cast attend in person, spread out throughout the auditorium. And the performance was live streamed uh, for everybody else. And if you haven't had a chance, you can still view it on the Lee Stream Facebook account. Uh, I highly recommend it. As I said, it was very entertaining to watch. Special thanks go out to our director, Gary Cannon, for putting together this opportunity for our students during a very challenging year. As Asa mentioned, advanced placement testing has begun. We're about halfway through it, a couple more weeks to go. Also, MCAS testing is back, begins on May 25th for LMHS students and continues through June 9th. It is a reduced battery of tests this year for middle school, um, but uh, ninth grade biology and 10th uh, grade ELA and math do have their full complement of, of tests. Our year-end events are coming up soon. It's amazing to me that um, there's only a few weeks left for our seniors. The junior class is holding its prom-like event at the school Friday, May 21st. Keep your fingers crossed for nice warm weather um, with uh, no rain. Um, the last day of classes for seniors will be Friday, May 28th. Ace is very happy there, if you can see her in your grid. Um, class night will be Thursday, June 3rd at 6.30 p.m. The public can watch it live on CTSB and on our Facebook stream. Only the members of the senior class will be present in person, and they'll be in the audience of the Z spread out and socially distanced. Uh, graduation is scheduled for Saturday, June 5th at 1.30 here on the football field. Um, it's also scheduled to be live on CTSB and Facebook because we do have limited tickets for each senior. Um, there'll be six tickets for each student this year. So that's double the number of tickets we were allowed last year. So that's exciting. Um, and there's a little more leeway this year um, for staff and related people. So I would say that um, if any school committee members were interested in attending, please just email um, either Superintendent Richard or myself, and we'll be sure to make sure um, that you're able to attend. Um, that's Saturday, June 5th at 1.30, weather permitting. Hopefully there's another one to cross our fingers and uh, hope for some good weather on that day. <clears throat> I think that's it for me, unless you have any questions. Thanks, Greg. All right, up next is Jen Norton with Special Education. Hi, everyone. Um, we have a few things going on in special education right now. Um, one of the exciting things is we just completed, um, I think a few months ago, I told you we were taking part in the tiered focus monitoring, um, which is the Department of Education comes in and um, we were found to have to be in compliance in all areas. Um, so that's very good. Um, and Greg and Kate had a huge piece in that. It was about civil rights and special education for this go around. Um, and you know, we, we did it together despite um, being in the middle of a pandemic, we were able to make sure everything um, was where it should be and all of our policies were up to date. Um, Summer special education and English language learner programming um, is gonna be from June 28th to July 29th. Some programs are four weeks and some are five weeks. Um, parents will be getting those letters home next week. We have almost finished hiring the staff for our summer programs. I can say that we are desperately seeking some related service providers for the summer, um, especially nursing. So if there's anybody out there who might be interested. Um, Preschool for the 21 uh, preschool screenings for the 2021 and 22 uh, school year were completed in April. Um, we had a pretty good turnout. 
we do know from the census that came out the day we finished the um, the screenings that there's a few families. So we've sent out some additional letters and we'll be making appointments for them. Um, but if there's anybody listening to this, um, if you have a child who's turning three or four by October 1st, please contact the Office of Special Education to set up a screening appointment for your child. Regardless of whether or not you intend on sending your child to Lee, um, you have the right to have your child screened by uh, Lee Public Schools. Um, and also we have a number of open positions for special education for next year. Um, we have several retirements and, and people moving on for other reasons. And um, so those are posted on our website. So if there's anybody looking, please send your information into the superintendent's office. And that's, that's all I have for special education. Thanks, Jen. Okay, and then uh, next up is Jordan Meyer from Facilities. Good evening, everyone. Uh, not too much has changed on our end. Uh, the buildings continue to uh, remain healthy. Our systems, our building management system has uh, remained balanced, although we're on approach to shut down for the season on our heat. Um, we attempted to do that uh, a couple of, uh, about 10 days ago, and uh, it was a little too early in the season, so we had to turn it back on. I apologize for anybody that got cold for a day or so while the building recovered. Um, we continue to support all the other uh, areas that my colleagues are working towards from uh, their academics to, to the drama, the sports, we're out in the fields, we're, we're getting things healthy, we're getting them all uh, uh, lined out for the season so the kids have something to uh, look forward to outdoors. Uh, we're expanding you know, the footprint uh, for, for food services, for the proper distancing outside. Um, we're good in our PPE, our supplies, we're all set for our seasonal uh, uh, cleaning efforts. Uh, we're, we're working with the teachers, or excuse me, the principals to figure out the scheduling. Uh, so there's no conflict between the custodians as they're working over summer and all the programming that's going on uh, within. Um, and everything is, 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 is well here. Um, we're a healthy building. We, we support the pool testing and maintaining uh, uh, as high a level of cleanliness as possible. Um, and it shows uh, we're, we're, we're moving in right directions and, and we'll continue to do so smartly. Um, the team here is great. And uh, the, the students, Asa, you've done a great job. I'm gonna miss seeing you in the halls. You were uh, uh, a good uh, inspiration for everyone. Um, and everybody else is just doing a, a fantastic job from the town uh, to the students. Uh, it's, it's, we're supported in all directions and everyone's doing well. Aside from me, I have some seasonal allergies, so forgive my, uh, <laughs> my voice this evening. Anything else? I don't think so. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Next thing on our agenda is our committee reports from our finance committee. They met earlier to go over the warrants. So Randy, can you let us know what the committee uh, talked about with regards to the warrants? Yeah, so we had a, a pretty efficient meeting uh, this evening, and we had uh, two warrants that were approved, and I will talk about the first one, the accounts payable um, in the amount of $270,306.80. And how did the committee uh, find the committee, that? The, the committee uh, approved that accounts payable amount. Okay. Do we have a motion for that accounts payable? I make a motion that we accept the accounts payable for $270,306.80. I'll second it. Any discussion? Brenda, can you give us a roll call, please? Mr. Abbott? Yes. Mr. Daly? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Ms. Mrs. Lucy? Yes. Mrs. Wadsworth? Yes. And Ms. Larman? Yes. All right. The, the second discussion and uh, on the payroll, which was in the amount of $564,397.25 was again approved by the uh, finance subcommittee. Okay, and do we have a motion uh, for that payroll warrant? So moved. Do we have a second? I'll second. Any discussion? 
And Brenda, roll call again, please. Mr. Robin? Yes. Mr. Daly? Yes. Mr. <clears throat> Kinnis? Yes. Mrs. Lucy? Yes. Mrs. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Larman? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, we have nothing over under old business for this month. Uh, so the next thing we need to talk about is, is under new business, which is the Lee School Committee member replacement approval. So uh, Anna Westcott has resigned as a effective May 1st. Um, uh, Brenda did email out the posting for the to replace that seat uh, earlier today. However, uh, nobody took out papers to replace Nelson uh, in the town election that is happening on Monday. So what I would like to propose is that we wait until after Monday's election to see if anybody is written in to that election. And then if that is nothing happens there, that we then post to appoint two new committee members um, after the town election and um, post it that way. So if that is amenable to everybody on the committee, could we make them? And I would like to post, put the posting up for two weeks. So I don't know if we need to make two most motions for that or if we can make it one motion that we post for two positions and we post it for two weeks under one motion. I make a motion that we wait until the town elections to, to um, engage candidates for the potential seats. Perfect. Do we have a second? I I'll second. second it. Any discussion? Yeah, I, I have a, a, a discussion. I've just, uh, okay. how, how does the write-in, and I, I'm just asking a question, how does the, the write-in work if there are more than one name or, or is, it, is it automatic if there's a, just one name put in there in, in a write-in? Is that that person who's written in automatically on the committee, school committee? How does that work? I guess I'm looking at the process. I, I think it has to meet a certain criteria. That I think it has to be a certain sense. number, right? Yeah. Does it have to be a certain I, number, Andrew? I, I'm yeah. Do, yeah. I feel like it has to be eight for some reason. It's some percentage yeah. of the elected, of the registered body. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it has to meet a certain number, I think. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that. I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We can, think, we can ask the town clerk. Maybe Brenda could do that for us and send us that information. Good suggestion. Thank you. Brenda's thumbs upping us. Yes. <laughs> All right. Are we are we good for the discussion? All right. Can you take a roll call, Brenda? Yep. Um, may we please be back up? Who seconded the motion? Yeah. Who who seconded the motion? I thought it was two people that said it at the same time. I'll, I'll, I second it and Aaron did, so just whoever. Aaron. Pick your poison. <laughs> okay, Mr. Ogden. Mr. Robin? Oh, yes. Mr. Daly? Yes. Mr. Kinnis? Yes. Mrs. Lucy? Yes. Mrs. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Slarman? Yes. Okay, uh, so the next thing on our agenda is future business, and that would be our next meeting, which will be on June 8th, uh, 2021, which will not include Nelson Daly. No, no. He will be at home, <laughs> taking an app Call me from here. <laughs> We're going to call you. <laughs> if somebody writes somebody's name in and they don't want, and they don't want the... Uh, I hope nobody. I hope nobody writes your name in, Nelson. Oh, I think we all should write Nelson. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that. <laughs> you got back in on a write-in, Nelson. I'm going to write so Randy Kenneth's father-in-law in. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> I'd be glad to take it. <laughs> Okay, well, I want to thank the people that came in person to join me tonight. I really appreciate it. I will welcome anybody that wants to come and join me in person next month. I, I, I love the fact that we can all be around the, uh, the little circle together here. 
Uh, thank you to those in the audience that joined us. That was also great to see everybody. I want to wish Nelson and Asa the very best and any other graduates that might have tuned in for tonight's yeah. uh, uh, meeting. Goodbye, Asa. Um, and uh, I would uh, entertain a motion for adjournment if anybody's interested. So move. Nelson, would you let's let Nelson make the motion? Yes, for let's adjournment. My last one, yes. I make a motion we adjourn. I'll second it. Any discussion? I think Brenda, we should stay we? for another. I think we. Should, my discussion is. I think we should stay for another hour and talk about the definitions of what all school language. <laughs> what do you think, Nelson? <laughs> See you later. <laughs> we have a roll that. call. We okay. have a roll call, Brenda. Certainly, yes. Mr. Robin. Yes. Mr. Daly. Yes. Mr. Kennis. Yes. Mrs. Lucy. Yes. Mrs. Wadsworth. Yes. Ms. Larman. Yes. yes. So with that being said, I would like to adjourn us at 746. Have a fantastic evening, everyone. Have a good week.